this is Glenda with Pralins and Friends. And, oh, wow. I need to catch my breath, so be back in a memento. do something with clay. My, this part here isn't sharp at the tip, I don't think. Okay, that's going to be his head. And he's a long neck guy. And he doesn't have any humps except just the normal thing on the back. The legs I'm going to stick in after I got the body filled out. I'm not going to try and, because he's, he, if he were a bigger giraffe, I might do that, but he's a little giraffe. got into the oldies tonight I mean like my generation the songs of the 60s and 70s there was one saying um, where have all the flowers gone haven't heard that one for a while have we where have all well I can't sing it because it's And there was, well, one of the early Elton John songs. Somebody sang that. Um, oh, world, uh, some, uh, Better since you're in the world. Can't think completely what, but I got to be careful of copyright stuff anyway, so I can't really. I just want to think of the title. Anywho's, Joe's home this week. He is home, and well, I've got a little clip that I'll be, be showing you of what he's been up to today. And how he was being kind of ornery to me, with me, about some of it. I wonder if that's, well, we'll consider part of that's tail. How long is a giraffe tail? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I'll have to go look it up. These bases like this, where it's just the structure don't have to be don't have to be real accurate or even real smooth so I'm going to go ahead and bake this guy this way this is happening right now <laughs> we're gonna paint this thing but I want him to have time to finish this. That isn't what I wanted to say. <laughs> yep, he's going to finish this off. And when he does, we're going to paint. And we'll have a nice looking haul. We're going to keep the drawers. Yeah, well, those colors are going to change. No, we're yeah, this is what he's talking about. And I said, no way are we keeping that. We are painting that. And he keeps telling me we're going to keep it. It's pretty. It's not pretty. <laughs> it's ugly. It's, pretty. it's from the 90s. Okay. I have... I have the rough of the giraffe. Just the part I showed you. It's in baking, but I decided, why don't I go ahead and start that owl while I'm waiting. And we'll finish the giraffe another time.
bring up his little alley horns here, or the top of his head, those feathers up there. Okay. I don't throw away clay because I can always use it to make more colors. <laughs> or sometimes beads like that one I other those others I made. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a little more of a caramel color out of this than that sand that I used for the camel, which will work for a lot of other things. Just I'd rather have a little more orange in it for this owl. I'm making his belly. It rained yesterday and it rained today. Well, it didn't rain all day yesterday. It rained last night, I think. And then it rained again part of today. But Joe got to go get him a new mower. He had, Well, he had to get him a new mower. <laughs> the other one was kind of adding, kind of on its last leg. But so he went and got himself a new mower which for the for the dude that likes to do it all himself and really that's the best we can afford anyway <laughs> that's a pretty big deal for him he loves tools and he loves that kind of stuff and I always want to get him more tools because I know he there's stuff that he'd like to get but he don't want me to buy them for him not because but his, he thinks I shouldn't spend that money. So then he goes around. To, well, I made the mistake. What was it? Father's Day a year or two ago? Or his birthday or something. I don't know. I made the mistake of telling him that I thought I should get him an air compressor. A, you know, a, some kind of an air compressor for... For here, because we had an old one that we left at the other place, because it, like I said, it was getting old, and we don't have as as big a garage, and it don't have all the electricity in it here. Anyhow, <laughs> cutting through all of my stuff there. <laughs> he went, and after telling me no, that. He really didn't think he needed one. No, he didn't want me to go buy one. This and that and the other thing, and just acting really like I was silly for even mentioning it. He came home with one one day, and when I asked him what he had and what I saw him take into the garage in the box, it was like, oh, it was an air compressor. I said, what? <laughs> A what? Okay, he's got a belly now, and... I need the white to make him some eyes. It's kind of a little mask almost for those eyes. I made the one that I've got on that bracelet. It's a really small one. Not doesn't have a whole lot of distinctive features. So I wanted one for the zoo that would have a little more distinct features. like this guy and okay what I want to try making now are his wings I sure hope this thing isn't getting too low it sure seems to be okay I'm gonna make a couple of wings for this guy and they don't have to be huge, although they are a flying bird, and their wings do have a big wingspan. But since he's going to be at rest, I don't want them to be larger than his body. Because they do furl out, oh, way larger than their actual body. 
when they're in flight, but not when they're resting. It's just, it's, you don't often see one flying during the day, but I see pictures of them, and I think I maybe have seen one or two in flight. Gorgeous birds. Just beautiful. And they look so heavy like this when they're sitting, you know, like in a tree. But boy, they are so light when they take off uh, and fly. It's like those wings are just so big that they could take on probably my body mass, but <laughs> probably not. <laughs> oh, let's see. Wasn't sure exactly if I wanted to do clay tonight, but then I decided, you know what, I like doing it. And we're working on a zoo, which is a project that we're doing together, kind of. So, I mean, you guys are telling me all your ideas of what to make and do. Out right. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? There we go, Mr. Owl. There's Mr. Owl for our zoo. He's kind of being made in the middle of Mr. Giraffe. Or in between Mr. Giraffe. So I hope you enjoy Mr. Owl. He will bake later. In the meantime, it's you and me. And this is what I'd like you to do for tomorrow. Or today, or any day find you a mirror. Look in it. Let's see, can you see? <laughs> you look in your mirror and you go, hi there, I love you. You're okay. Why don't you do that? If I could sh not shake for a second. Hi there, love you. Why don't you do that? In the meantime, I love you. Be safe and do your social distancing. And I will see you tomorrow. Do subscribe, click the notification bell, and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to say hello, I love you in the mirror, and give yourselves a thumbs up. <laughs> we deserve it too. After all.
If God said he loves us, why shouldn't we? Good night. <laughs>